So Tom, um, you're back after um, a while away, being away from the touchline. How does it feel to be back out on grass? Uh, it's great, Adam. Like you know, it's just it's just a breath of fresh air to be back out and out on the pitch again, and you know, getting a look at these players. And it's important that we we get a look at them now early in the season. You know, so we've a lot of players coming in today. And you look today at uh, some 60 players. Um, how's it been? How, how's it been? How are the players looking? Yeah, they're looking good. You know, obviously, our, our, our players at home, some of them are knocking on the door of the first team, some of them are playing first team football, and uh, other lads are waiting for the under 19 league to start. Like, you know, so it's a, it's a mixed bag at the moment, and but it's important that we get a look at them early days and probably narrow it down in September and look to do a home based event in September. Now, obviously, they've had a, a long break, haven't they? Um, you know, most athletes have. Um, is it good now just to kind of like put that international football and what's needed to be an international football in the mindset of a lot of the players? Uh, absolutely. I've just spoken to the players and told them the importance. Like you know, to play under 19 international football, you know, they've got to be got to be looking at playing first team football at home here in Ireland, or at least knocking on the door of the first team. And obviously, come here, that's easier said than done. But that's the challenge. Like you know, if if you want to play at, at under 19 international level. And that's it. It's about getting back out there, isn't it? And and I guess it's just making sure the players are ready. I guess. Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Like you know, and it's been great. Like any of the lads that have been playing first team football, like you know, they've, we've had a chance to see them play in that environment, and um, it's been brilliant. Like, and some of them are blossoming at that level, and that's good early indications for the season going forward. And as you say, going forward, how's it looking? How are we looking as a group? You know, we've got a lot of talented players in the Irish underage football at the moment. Ah, uh, yeah, there's been there's been great success over the last number of years, and you know, it's and it's also very promising for the next group that's coming through as well. And uh, you've got the players that are over in England as well, and their season doesn't start to mid September, so. We've got to, you know, look at that wide pool of players, the lads that are at home, the lads that are over in England, and obviously the, the younger age groups that are coming through have, you know, they'll, they'll take great inspiration from the lads that have done really well and stepped up to the 21s and stepped up to the senior team, and, and that's the bigger picture, and that's what, what football's about, and that's our job is to, to reduce the, the young players and have them ready to step into 21s and senior football.